Hi everyone, Dr. Robinson here for another Tech Vision lesson of the Abacus. Okay, everybody, we have already done one, two, three, four, and five, and we are ready for the rules of six. Okay, we know six and four is 10. We also know with the way we are setting, everything's either gonna equal up to five or 10. Well, now that we are above five, we're always going to think about what equals up to 10, okay? Well, I'm touching the 50 bead, 10, okay? So here we go. Setting six is direct. Now here is the reason why I've been so emphatic about the pointer pushing beads down and the thumb pushing beads up is because you can really get into setting directly the top and the bottom. So when I say set six, I'm literally taking the pointer, going to push the bead down. At the same time, I'm taking the one and pushing the bead up because the five and then six, you can just touch it with your thumb. Yeah, there's six, very, very easy. Okay, so now we have to think about four all the time. We know the rules of four, we're always doing something with one bead. Same thing with six. We know we're doing something with one bead. So it's all we have to do is set one, we do that with a thumb and we just go straight up and we clear the five because we know we keep clearing till we set and we come over to the 10 and we set a 10 and lo and behold, 10, one, two is 12, 12, yep. And six times two is 12, it absolutely is. Okay, so here we go again. We're going to directly set six. Our pointer is on the five, our thumb is on the one and we can move both of those toward the counting bar with one fell swoop. Okay, set six, we know we're doing something with the one bead. So we set one, clear a five and we set a 10 and we now have 24. Set six, here we go. We have four, remember? six and four, we have four in that ones column. So we take our pointer and we clear that four and set a 10 because 10 minus four is six, right? Yeah, now all these rules are really coming together. Okay, so set six, nice and direct. Our pointer is on the five, our thumb is on the one B and we move them together and we say six. Here we go, set six, we know we're pushing up one bead, we're clearing a five, we're setting a 10. Set six, it's direct, of course we've got a pointer on our five, our thumb on our one, and we directly move both of those into the counting bar. Set six, we know we're dealing with one bead, so we push up one, we clear a five, we clear a 40, and we set 50. Beautiful, we have 54, and guess what? Nine times six is 54. Here we go, set six. There's those four beads just hanging out and we clear a four and we set a 10. Set six, it's direct, let's go. Set six, we know we're taking our thumb, moving up that one, we clear that five, we set a 10. Here we go, set six, it's direct. We love that pointer and thumb, take care of it. Set six, we go ahead and set a one, we clear a five and we set a 10. Set six, there's those four beads. We go ahead and clear that with our pointer. And at the same time, notice, remember what I'm talking about, that pointer and that thumb working together because that thumb pushes up that 10, beautiful. And we have 90. Here we go, set six, nice and direct. Set six, we go ahead and set a one, we clear a five, we clear the 40, we clear the 50, and we set a 100. We now have 102. Set six, beautiful, nice and direct. Set six, we know we set a one, we clear a five, and we set a 10. Set six, we take our pointer and clear that four, and we set a 10. Set six, nice and direct. Set six, we go ahead and set a one, we clear a five, and set 10. What's so nice about this is we know we keep clearing until we set. That's what makes this way of setting the abacus so easy. Set six, that's easy. Set six, we know we're doing something with one bead. So we set a one and clear a five because we know five minus one is four. And we go over and we set a 10. Set six, there's those four beads. We know we clear that four. We clear our 40 and we go ahead and set a 50. And we just love that. Set six and forward on. So just keep going, keep setting those sixes and just add those in to all the other numbers when you're setting problems. And that is the rule of six. Excellent job and keep going.